welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special edition video for you guys. You guys know that AEW Unrivaled action figures came our way. I want to say it was a year ago. Was it a year ago? Let me look at this. So it was almost a year ago. It was, it was around like fall 2020 or like the end of summer 2020 when we finally got these figures in hand. Or it may have been late summer when we finally got the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho figure. And since then, we have gotten four full complete series. AEW Series 1 through 4, as well as some exclusives from Ringside Collectibles and some more stuff on the way. We know Series 5 and Series 6 are coming soon, as well as more exclusives. And while that is all great and dandy, today I wanted to take some time out and do my top 10 personal favorite AEW Unrivaled Collection figures that we've gotten so far. This is not going to include Series 5 or 6 because we don't have those in hand just yet, but every figure released up until this point, including exclusives, all the different series, all the different figures, that is what my top 10 will include. Some of these that you see in front of you may or may not be included. You'll just have to wait and see. And also, I am not going based off fix-ups and stuff. This is like how they were originally released on the base release. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up out of the packaging. This doesn't include like a fix-up or a head swap or anything like that. This is straight out of the packaging. If you were to buy it right out of the box, this is what it would be. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into my top 10 personal favorite AEW Unrivaled Collection figures so far. So coming in at the number 10 spot, guys, I'm going with AEW and Rival Collection Series number 3, Nick Jackson. Now, I think that Nick is the more superior figure over Matt. You guys know that I don't really care for the head sculpt on the Matt figure, but I really enjoy the Nick. I think that the attire is great. I think that the Series 3 bucks are excellent. I love the gear that we got. I love the, the fabric tassels that we got going on, and this, this really sets the standard moving forward for future Young Buck figures that we're going to be getting because of how great this is. I don't think they've yet perfected Nick or Matt Jackson's head sculpts. Like, Matt Jackson from Series 1 was great in the head sculpt, but I think they haven't perfected both of them just yet in the same set, and I'm really waiting on that. I think once we get that, it's gonna throw these guys over the top, but this gear is sick. The fixed skin tone from Series 1 is sick, and I love the Nick Jackson from Series number 3. Coming into the number nine spot, guys, we are going with the Unrivaled Collection Series number four, Ortiz. I really like this figure. One thing that deducted some points was the fact that he's wearing an Inner Circle t-shirt just because it kind of hinders a little bit of the ability that you could do down the line. You know, he's not going to be in the Inner Circle forever. He's not going to be wearing this shirt forever and, you know, it's a specific look but I love the gloves. I love the interchangeable head sculpt. You not only get the braids but you also get the afro head sculpt. You get so many great molds going on with this and I just really like it. It's one of those figures that feels really damn good in the hand, and it just feels really nice to pose. Just a really fun figure, man. I like all the details and great things you get with it, and the accessories are fantastic, so I went with Ortiz at my number nine spot. Coming in at number eight, guys, we gotta go to the opposite side of the tag team. We gotta get into Santana. I think that Santana is slightly better, and I honestly can't tell you why. I love the head sculpt. I think the likeness is excellent. He doesn't really have a great attire or anything, but I think the figure just feels really good in the hand. Like, if you own this figure, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just one of those figures that I find myself picking up and posing around for no reason. Like, I really wanna bring these guys to the pick fed because of that reason. Just because I love posing these guys around, I think that we could do a lot of great and creative things with it. So I don't know. I just think that this could make for a really fun figure to pose around and stuff. But I can't. I, I don't know what it is. It's just one of those figures I love to pick up and pose around. So Santana is my number eight figure. Coming in at number seven, guys, we have our first Cody figure. We have the UK exclusive AEW Basic Ring Cody figure, and it was a really hard toss-up between this one and the other Cody's. The Series 1 has the skin tone issue. The Blood Brothers is really excellent. Even the Series 4 is really great, but I actually think I like the skin tone of this Cody better than the Series 4, and I just love this gear. I think this is the best gear we've gotten for Cody so far. Even though his Series 1 gear is awesome, his Series 4 gear is awesome, the TNT Champion you know, exclusive from ringside that we're going to be getting is great. But I just love these boots and the silver, blue, and red with the white weight belt just really brings it all together. And I just I just like it. I don't know if the, uh, I think the Chase Variant Series 4 is freaking fantastic. But I don't know if I'll ever track that down. I think the Series 1 Chase Variant is also great. But I don't have those just yet. But I just like the skin tone and the attire of this Cody. So I had to put him here at number 7. 
Now, coming into the number six spot, guys, I am going to go with the AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number one, Matt Jackson. Now, you're probably wondering why in the blue hell do you have this Matt Jackson so high? Where well, the reason, guys, is because I just love this head sculpt. I don't know what it is. I repainted one and put it on the Series 3, and just look how great that looks. It looks just like Matt Jackson to me. I know a lot of people crap on the head sculpts of the Series 1 Matt and Nick, but I think the Matt's fantastic. Like, the Nick, you know, it has its issues here and there, but the Matt figure is great. I love this. The cloth jacket's great. I actually like the Elvis gear. These guys are kind of hard to stand up. They are a little bit pale, but I still really love the Series 1 Matt Jackson, and these cloth jackets are just to die for. I mean, my God. You could fart in a bag and smell it, but even if you wanted to, you know, put this head sculpt over here, I know this doesn't necessarily count, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the Series 3 when you head swap it and how damn good it could look. So there's my number six. You have the Series 1 Matt Jackson. Coming to number five, guys, we are going with Unrivaled Collection Series number two, Pentagon. Now, this one is great. The details are great. I just love everything about it. I know we didn't get the interchangeable head sculpts. We didn't get the interchangeable hands we would like, but just having a Penta like this and the interchangeable hands, the tongue out head sculpt, all the details, the mask. I mean, it's just a great thing. Like, this guy is a guy that's just, that just looks beautiful in figure form. You know, he's so toyetic, if you will. His, uh, his, just, his presence in figure form is untouchable, really. I mean, it's just such a great figure. I know a lot of people say that he kind of gets loosey-goosey on him, but and the forearms may be a little bit flimsy sometimes, but overall, this figure just looks and captures Pinta and it's just beautiful, man. This is an excellent figure. This is one of their best ones they've made to date, and I think a lot of people would agree with that one. Let's go ahead and slide these down here so we fill up the frame of pro, pro God in heaven. Coming in number four, guys. We're going with Unrivaled Collection Series number two, John Moxley. I had to go with Mox at this spot. I'm just so excited. Like, when this figure first released, I had to have my hands on it, man. Just having a John Moxley updated figure compared to all of our Dean Ambroses, I was so hyped to have this figure in my collection. I'm really excited to see how the Series 5 compares, how good it's going to be. Do a head swap with that guy and everything. I know he was a little bit too tall, but having this Mox, you know, it comes with the AEW Championship. You get the entrance vest. It just looks badass, man. He looks like he's going to kill you. And uh, once you fix the height issue and stuff, it's just one of those figures I, I find myself posing around as well. It's just a really great figure. I love John Moxley. I love the, the character. I love it in figure form. And it's just so great to add to the collection, bro. So excited to have this John Moxley. I had to put him in my top five, so I have him at the number four spot. Getting into our top three, man, this is the cream of the crop of these AEW Unrivaled figures. Number three, man, I am going with none other than the TNT champion at time of recording, Darby Allen. Now, I think if anybody owns this figure, you know how damn impressive it is, man. It's just one of those figures that just feels absolutely fan freaking tastic in the hand. It just poses around so great. It gives you a wide range of ability. Like, he just he just feels great, man. He's just one of those figures that you just want to, like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just feels excellent in the hand. The attire is really unique. The Chase variant would be freaking amazing. I wish I had the Chase variant figure, but the Darby Allen is untouchable, bro. It really is so damn good, and just the double jointed arms and all the things you can do with it, it is excellent. It is just simply excellent. There's not a thing you can say about it. The Darby Allen is just untouchable. He is at the number three spot. Coming in at number two, guys, I am going with another figure from Series 3, but it was the one that I rated the best, and that is freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. Ever since I became a fan of Orange Cassidy, seeing him, seeing the character, and all of the things that he embodies, man, he's so entertaining, so fun to watch. You never know what you're going to get. And the love and support of this guy is outstanding, and having it in figure form, how creative it is. The cloth, jean jacket, and shirt combination with the glasses, and the ability that you can actually put the arms in in the pockets of the figure. While the pants and the legs don't have the best articulation, it's still just so cool to have that feature on a figure that he can put his hands in his pockets and he can still do things. You get some really cool innovation with this figure and it just looks great on a shelf. It looks great compared to all your other collection. And if you like Orange Cassidy, this is a must grab. I think it's just so unique, man. So unique, so awesome. Great tooling, great innovation. And, such, and since I'm such a big Cassidy fan, I could not leave him out of my top five, top two, borderline top one figure that AEW has made. 
And at the number one spot, guys, it's going to go to AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number four, Kenny Omega. Okay, so when the Series 1 released, I have the Series 1 over here, man. When the Series 1 released, we were super hyped because for years and years, action figure collectors have never had a bona fide, solid Kenny Omega figure. And when we got the Series 1, we were like, oh my God, we're actually going to have a Kenny Omega that's not customized. It's not going to have a custom sculpt that, you know, could ship. And the paint, you know, the decals, we don't have to throw away a bunch of stuff or throw together a bunch of stuff to create this Kenny Omega that may get damaged, that isn't official, that we don't have, that we can't just pose around without any worries about it chipping or falling apart on us. And we finally got our Series 1. And how awesome was the Series 1? But the skin tone wasn't good, right? He was too pale. The likeness wasn't all there. It was a bit off and everything. But we're still really happy with our Series 1 Omega. But when Series 4 got shown off, man, and this attire looks bona fide, beautiful. The skin tone was updated. The screaming head sculpt looks great. He's got his shooter hand. He's got his entrance vest. This figure right here, until we get more Kenny's with better likeness, with better facial expressions, with better attires, this right here is just elite, man. It is just perfect in every way. I love this Kenny Omega figure. Having an official Kenny to go in our pick feds, our stop motions, figure photography, just having one that's not custom made is just so huge for me. So it was no doubt that Kenny Omega Series 4 had to be the best figure that they've made so far. And it'll probably stay that way until another Kenny is made. I don't know how they're going to top this Kenny. Maybe Luchasaurus might take over the spot. We'll have to see when we get him in hand. But Kenny Omega is my number one AEW figure thus far. And we will see how that goes throughout the years. But that does it for my top 10 AEW Unrivaled Collection action figures that they have made so far, man. Let me know what your top 10 is, man. What's your favorite AEW figure? I see Brandy face planted. But here's a rundown again, 10 through 1. Guys, let me know what you guys think of everything down in the comments section below. I think these could go up and down depending on a few things. I think Nick Jackson would have been a lot higher had his head sculpt been better. If Matt Jackson's Series 3 figure had a better head sculpt like his Series 1, he would have been on here and higher. I don't know. There's a lot of different scenarios here, man, but this is what I think is my bona fide top 10. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out is going to go to Red Flame 32 who says, me, that is a cool Chris Jericho figure. MDT, well, why is it yelling? Because the new AEW Series 6 Jericho is yelling but we have other facial expressions for our Jericho, so it gets a little bit of a pass. I will like to see a determined or a straight-faced Jericho, but I guess we'll have to wait on that. But a huge shout-out to RedFlame032 for that comment on our last video. A huge shout-out to you, man. Thank you for watching, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my name Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Series 3 Pac without the damn leg rotation or lower boot rotation, or kick pad rotation, or whatever rotation the man doesn't have. You cross the line, I've been